Hey, so I've been wearing this uh, Fitbit Inspire for about two months now. I actually had a different Fitbit before this, and I thought I would just take a quick second to walk you through all the different menus that are uh, included on the watch face, um, as well as the band, so you can kind of understand what to expect if you get this, what it's like using on a daily basis. So first off with the watch band, um, all this is kind of like a silicone, it's all waterproof material. Um, it's like a typical watch, so you just find like whatever notch fits best for you and then tighten it down. I find that most of the day, I'm kind of going back and forth between two different notches, um, either this one or the one a little bit looser, kind of depending on, I guess, how hot I am or how much my, my wrist is swelling up or whatever's most comfortable. But overall, it is a comfortable band to wear. It's because it's, it's, I think it's a neoprene. I'm not exactly sure the type of material, uh, but it's slick, it's comfortable, and it's easy to wear. So um, the watch on itself on the back, it has all the different sensors. Um, the four different uh, brass uh, circles there, that's the charging port. And then here, those are the different lights and sensors. Sometimes you'll see kind of like a green light shining out of there. That just means it's taking whatever measurement or doing whatever it is that it does. So you can change out the, the watch band as well. It comes with a uh, different size. This is the larger ones. You see those little silver uh, circle balls there. Um, that's how you adjust it and take, or you take off the watch band if you want a different one. Um, the face itself, all the different things. Let me go through all the different menus. So um, this first one here, it's showing the time right now. Um, and then the heartbeat, this is, this uh, you can change. There's a gallery that's on the app where you can go and you can change to see if you want it to look like this, what style you want, or if you want to change between different settings. There's a bunch of different uh, faces that you can make some adjustments to. This one in particular, as I tap, it'll show me like here's today's date, for example. Um, that seven with his up arrows means that so far I've had seven active minutes today. I've walked 29 or 2,992 steps. Um, if I had it on, it would be taking my heart rate. It would show me my current heart rate it is as well. I've burned 1,617 calories through the day. I've walked one or I've moved 1.41 miles. And so as you see, I just tap through, it'll go through those different um, options for me. But that is uh, face specific. So if you have a different face, it might do some different things for you as well. But in order to make some adjustments to it, so you, you kind of slide back and forth to go through your different settings on the watch or your different things that you may want to do. So the first is if I scroll up, this just show me the, a little bit more of that same information. It'll also show me the, how full the battery is. So I'm at 56% right now. But if I just keep, keep scrolling up, it's going to keep showing me all the different um, things that I just showed you, the different stats for the day, as well as this one. So it'll, it'll recommend, I think you can change the setting on this. I think it has me move 250 steps minimum per hour. Um, it shows me that so far I'm six hours in the day and I've done that. If I didn't, um, it will give me a reminder 10 minutes before. So show me what my resting heart rate was, or my heart rate was last time I took it. I guess it's taking it out probably because my finger's back there. Um, and then my resting heart rate as well. And how much I slept last night, what my sleep score is, my SpO2 percentage, exercise. This is one out of seven days that I've done so far this week. Um, so that'll show you there. Now, all that is available on the app. If you don't want to scroll through on the watch face, you can get it all out of the app as well. Going back to home, if I scroll down, this is just some different um, settings that I can change, um, like do not disturb mode, sleep mode, finding your phone, uh, what wrist is it worn on, turn on the water lock so that if you're going to be swimming, you can turn on the water lock. And if you want to go through some different settings, it's all available right there. Then as you're looking at this is how I use it more often is you'll scroll to the left First will be notifications. Now, I don't get any notifications um, through this, but you can get like phone calls, text messages, um, and then a bunch of apps have other notifications that if something's happening, it'll notify you on the wrist. There's not much you can do with it, just more of a notification. And for me personally, it's too distracting, so I have it turned off. Um, this one though, exercise, I do use this quite frequently. So as I'm working out, I would go through, as I'm about to start my workout, and say, all right, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna walk, for example? Am I going to do a regular workout, run? treadmill, swim, outdoor uh, workout. And you again, you can adjust these with the app on your phone. Let's say I'm gonna start walking though. I'll go ahead and just tap on the walk. I'll hit start and it's connected to my GPS through my phone. So as I'm walking around, it's automatically gonna show my pace. But if I keep tapping through this, it'll show my average pace for this workout, my current heart rate, how many calories I've burned, how many steps I've gone, current time of day, how many miles I've gone as well, um, how much time is, has gone out of my workout, um, in zone minutes, that's based on your heart rate, what zone you're in and what your current heart rate is as well, um, pace and all those different things. So um, it'll, it'll keep me up to date as I'm working out. I can keep going through and uh, kind of keep track of my workout. Once I'm done, I just scroll up like this, tap to pause, tap to finish, and then my workout stats will be listed right here for me. Now, again, that will be available on the app. 
And then when I'm done with all that, just click done. So I use that quite a bit because anytime I work out, I make sure I start my workout here with the, the uh, watch face. Other things you can do as well, whoops, turn that off, is here, relax session. So if I tap on this and start a, a relaxation session for two minutes, um, the watch will like will vibrate every now and then to help you remind you to kind of take some deep breaths, but you can sit there and you can kind of relax for a little bit and um, just just take a couple minutes to just kind of you know chill out and not do much, but have the watch remind you to be doing some deep breathing. You can have an alarm. I use this quite a bit as well. I actually like this better than a phone alarm. So I'll set this to whatever time I'm going to get up. So if I have set for 6.30, for example, I would go ahead and turn it on. Uh, here, I'll show you how to set the alarm. So just tap like this. Um, there we go. There we go. So I have it 6.30 a.m. or p.m. I'm set a.m. So now it's set for that. Go ahead and turn it on. So now it's 6.30. The watch will start vibrating. And I like that. I find that is a little bit better way to wake up in the morning. So that is the, the alarm. And then here, custom timer. Honestly, I've never used timers, but if you want to use some sort of countdown timer, you can do it from here as well. And now I'm back to time. So that's all the different things that are happening on the face of the watch. Everything is, is the same except for this face part of it as well, this time. That's what is customizable in the app. But everything else kind of works the same on all these different Inspire ones. So as I said, I've worn this for about two months. I used to have a charge. I like the charge. It just broke after a couple years of use. Um, and this one has been great for, for me for what I'm kind of looking to do with it right now. It's kind of helping me with my, uh, my fitness goals. So um, that's it. Hope this helped you out.